Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose on February 5, 2015, 1.20 a.m., Birmingham, Alabama. And the topic, where are all these things coming from that I've spoke about in the last five or six blogs? Um, the book of Enoch, the book of uh, Jubilees. The book of Jasher. And but let me tell you something about the book of Enoch that a lot of people don't know, or probably don't. You'll find two. You dig in and you'll find two books. And and it doesn't take long to read them. Maybe uh I don't know. I I'm a slow reader. I have to read things three times. Take, it takes me maybe two hours on one and an hour and a half on the other. Most people can do both of them in an hour, you know. But my, my point is, the books of Enoch were taught even from Jesus. He spoke some verses out of the book of Enoch. I say the book of. He didn't speak of the books, but... Of at least one book, and uh, they're not canonized, so they're not in the Bible, but they hold a tremendous amount of information that all this that we hear about Nephilim, the fallen angels, and that they were here, and what they did before the flood, and what happened after the flood, it all comes out of the book of Enoch, and then more in Jubilees, and then more in uh, Jasher, Book of Jasher. But let me tell you first, the Book of Enoch, we have two. You know how many there were. There were 365 books of Enoch. There are 363 out there. Where are they? They were written because God instructed Enoch to write them. Keep in mind, Enoch was Noah's great grandfather. He was still around when Noah was building the ark. But before God brought the flood, he took Enoch. So Enoch never died. But also before that, he told Enoch, he said, scribe, write these books. He wanted a book for each, each year that he was there explaining all the things that the fallen angels did, including what they taught men. That's a powerful book because it's full of magic. Magic that works. And it's also full of the most horrible things that man can imagine. But yet they're in the hands of some people. I would, I don't know how many are, you know, and, and people think that this Illuminati group have one or two or some of these books. I agree a hundred percent. Did Hitler have any? I say yes, because he came up with ideas that that was way before our time. But he got stupid. And uh, but how can a man write, sit down and write that many books and do it in a short time? Well, God said to. That's how. And if you read it closely enough, you'll see that the way God told him to write it, indicating that God gave him some type of a pen. And he ran this pen along a page and the words flowed off of it. He had time to write the books doing it that way. Otherwise, he could not have had the time to, to write and transcribe that many books. But they're out there. Everything that the fallen angels, the sons of God, 
taught men everywhere and every everything from metal, making metals, how to make it, how to make gold, how to make silver, um, how to fight, how to war, how to kill people, women, how to wear makeup, how to flirt, how to do all these things. All those things were taught by the fallen angels. And not only that, how to build a pyramid with blocks so heavy that it can't be done in 2015. We still can't do it today, especially down in Peru in, in, in uh, the Mayan ruins. Some of those blocks, and look at the obelisk sit, sitting there in, in Egypt. We don't have a piece of equipment that can lift the thing, but yet they cut it. How can they cut it? No one knows. They never found a tool. So it was all done by magic or by the power of, of your tongue or by a simple uh, frequency or certain words said in a particular way. A lot of things were taught by people, but most of what were taught to men were designed to break or to tear man down. It, it was all designed to undermine God, all designed to get higher than God. And when they couldn't do that, and, and they got through the flood, then it's all designed to keep Jesus from coming. Didn't work, did it? But interesting, there's a lot of things, but beware, please beware. In the end times, God said, even the very elect would be deceived if it were possible. But thank God it's not going to be possible. But be aware that every day you're going to see things that's going to make you think, wow, I want that. Or wow, I wish I could do that. Don't go there. Our time is short today, real short. Be ready. Jody Wolf exposed.